closing positions in order to profit from exchange rate differences or trades it is necessary to close the position to close a position a trade operation opposite to the first one is executed a position can be closed fully or partially depending on the volume of a trade executed in the opposite direction upon clicking close the position is closed if you want to close part of the position simply enter the volume to close in the volume field so it's pretty straightforward in terms of closing positions out in MetaTrader 5 there's a few ways of doing it if you can see right here in my trade tab within the toolbox I have a few open positions I have a mini NASDAQ trade a mini S&P trade and a mini Dow trade All right, so one way of closing out a trade is just by left clicking the position that you'd like to close out so in this case I have a short position for three contracts of uh, at 4872.75 currently losing $30 on the trade. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on the position and within the context menu you'll see close position here. Alright so that's one way. I'm going to go ahead and do that and show you what happens. That basically will flatten the position at the current market price and now you can see that the position is closed out. Another way as well is you can also use the X option here in the profit column within the trade tab. Uh, this is probably the quickest way because it reduces a, a an extra amount of clicks as you can see here this is one click for example then I had to go to close position uh, you know what let me uh, take a step back before I show you this way the other way as well if you double left click within the actual position itself as well it'll bring up the trade dialog box you can see here so let me do it with the mini DAO as you can see this is a current position that I have on the mini DAO that's long three contracts from 181.93 if I double left click, you can see that it automatically allocates the amount of contracts based on my position. So since I'm long three, you can see that it automatically adjusts the volume to three because it, that's what the current position is. So if I want to close the position out, I just simply hit the close button. Now I'm going to go ahead and do that, this particular method here, by double left clicking and I'm just going to hit close and now you can see the position is closed out. Now if you want to partially close out the trade, perhaps you want to scale out of the position, you don't necessarily want to close out the entire position. So in this case, I'm long three contracts. Um, perhaps I want to peel one off. So if you use this option here, this basically does not give you the option to scale out of the position. It will completely close the entire position. Or if you right click and go to close position here, it will not give you the option to choose how many contracts. It's going to close the entire position. So if you want to scale out of the position or partially close the position, you'd have to go with the double click method on the position itself, bring up the trade dialog window, as you can see, and simply adjust the amount of contracts that you'd like to scale out of. So this is a position that I currently have for three contracts. If I just want to peel one off, I'm going to adjust that volume to one, and now I'm going to hit the close button. And if you notice now, instead of being long three, you can see that I'm currently long two. All right, so that's one way of partial, well, that's pretty much the only way that you can partially close out trades by the, from within the trade tab in the toolbox. Now, if you want to close out the entire position, you can also use this method here by clicking the X in the profit column. And now you can see the position is closed entirely. All right, so one quick recap. I'm going to go ahead and establish a couple positions here, just random positions. All right, so I have a long position for one contract on mini NASDAQ. I have a short position for three contracts on the mini S&P. You can either double left click to bring up the trade dialog box. You can hit close here, or you can choose the amount of contracts you wish to scale out of. That's a bad example because I am only I only have one contract on there. But here, you can see that's a three lot. So it automatically will adjust the contract amount based on your net position. You can choose how many contracts you'd like to scale out of. Or just hit the close button when you immediately open the trade dialog box and it will close out the entire position or you can right click on the position go to close position in the context menu here or you can click the X in the profit column and when, when you do when you click the X in the profit column here you can see there's a little tooltip it will tell you what ticket it's going to close so it gives you a, a good identification to letting you know what position is going to, going to be closed out so you can see that's uh, 10,081632 you can see that belongs to the mini NASDAQ trade and that's pretty much a quick video on how to close out positions. Very simple, very easy to do. If you have any questions, please contact our 24-hour support team at 312-893-6400, extension 1. Definitely stay up to date on our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Again, that's www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. 
Thank you for listening in. Happy trading.